when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, cried. At this time of the death of Ibrahim, his son, a tear rolled down his cheeks. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum asked him, what is this, O Messenger? Do you know why? Because people sometimes have a misunderstanding that your faith is strong, you're not even supposed to be sad. Your faith is strong, you're not even supposed to cry. Do you know what he said? He answered so beautifully, these tears, they are mercy that Allah has placed in the hearts of those who are merciful. The tear is a sign of mercy. Why do I cry? Because I love my child so much. Because I love you so much. And I'm witnessing things go pear-shaped. So I'm crying. I'm a human being. Crying is good, by the way. Sometimes it will help you. It's a mechanism that Allah has created man by. You cry. It's natural. It's normal. You have tear glands perfectly made by the owner of the universe. From time to time, empty them. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant us ease. It's normal. You cry out to the Almighty, not because you lost anything, because you desperately want something. So you are here early in the morning when everyone is asleep, raising your hands to the Almighty and suddenly tears roll down and Allah says, Oh, my beloved worshiper, you're not crying because of a loss. You're not crying because I took something away from you. You're not crying because I've punished you. You're crying because you desperately want something from me. So what does Allah do? Allah will only give it to you if He knows it's better for you. And when He knows or when He knows this is better for you at that particular time. If it is better for you, you get it. If not, you won't get it.